neighbours think of me. <sighs> Sometimes I really think they want rid of me. Hello Pods Puppets and welcome back to the channel and if this is the first time you are seeing this face, welcome to the channel. If you love anything magical and fun, no, if you love anything magical and fun, then this is the place for you. Join the magic and mayhem, hit subscribe because I told you to. Also a massive thank you to the channel members, you guys are awesome. Let's get on with today's video, shall we? So today we have another wizarding trunk. Another one. And this is the good versus evil. Good always comes true and always prevails. Always. Yeah, this is the good versus evil by the wizarding trunk. Um, I'm excited to see what's in this. I get no spoilers whatsoever. I don't look at anything um, because I like to keep it raw. Does that make sense when I'm unboxing? I like to keep it raw. So any box you see me unbox of the Wizarding Trunk, it is the first time I am seeing the items inside. Speaking of the items inside, Wizarding Trunk never failed to make me smile. I am yet to come across a box that I'm a bit like, I actually didn't enjoy that box. And I'm not even joking. I do get gifted these boxes to review for you guys, but I honestly am honest with these unboxings. The Wizarding Trunk approached me to do this for them. I wouldn't have agreed to do it if I didn't enjoy their boxes because I wouldn't want to unbox them. Plus, I'm a really bad liar, so you'd know in my face if I didn't like an item, trust me. Also, I do have a discount code. It is POTTERPUPPET10. You can get 10% off with this code on your first subscription box or 10% off their website shop if you would like to treat yourself to something singularly. The Wizard and Trunk are linked in the description anyway if you would like to go check them out. But I am excited, as always, to get into this. If you saw the potions box that I unboxed on Wednesday, they made me cry. Yes, Wizard and Trunk made me cry. Okay, and yes, I was in the same clothes because I am filming both boxes on the same day. Okay, I do change my clothes. So, without further ado, we're gonna open this. I'm excited, it's quite a big box. Let's just look, should we look at the box? Oh, this, it's not really, there's not much. In, it, uh, the fra fragile magical delivery, and then we do have a lovely design on the front with the good versus evil. The Owlry, the wizard in trunk presents. Um, I do like their boxes because they do look like trunks, hence the wizard in trunk, I suppose, obviously. So it's like, we've got two pins. There's two pins in this box. Oh my days, what is that? I'm excited. There's another, there, oh, there's boxes galore in this box. The mystery in this mystery box is just amazing. I'm gonna pull pin out because I do have a very unhealthy obsession with pins and I love them. It's a portrait pin! Oh my days, I am obsessed with the Wizard and Trunks portrait pins. They are absolutely gorgeous. And ASMR. I'm going to take a wild guess here, but I think this may be a hint to Tom Riddle. What do we think, guys? The frames on these pins are gorgeous and they're all sort of like different to each. Do you know what I mean? Each portrait pin has a different frame, a different colour, different design. And oh, I love these portrait pins. I have the biggest plan and I need to get around to doing it with these portrait pins. And I am, I'm not even kidding, massively excited to do it. Absolutely massively, massively, massively excited to do it. So keep your eyes peeled because it will come. It's, it will be a DIY. I do do DIYs on this channel for those of you that don't know. I get very creative and we make some magic. But this is going to be a fun DIY to do with these portrait pins. I'm excited! Anyway, let's move on. Great first start. I love their portrait pins. Well, while we're at it, let's look at the other pin. Oh, I can't figure out what this is. I'm a bit stumped, I'm having a moment. It will tell us on the cheat sheet anyway, but some of you will probably scream at me in the comments. You scream away, guys, you scream away. Can anybody help me with this? I have something in my mind what I think it might be, but I don't want to say it out loud because I also know that I'm probably wrong and I don't want to look stupid. So I'd rather look stupid and not know because it won't come to my mind than look stupid and get it wrong. I don't know why. I'm a bit weird like that. Anyway, it's a very big pin. Now these pins, I do like, right? It is a double pinned pin. It's the other one. I don't think so. Oh, it is. It is a double pinned pin. Now with big pins, what I like to think what you can do with them is have them as like a centerpiece on like a bag. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> because I wouldn't put it on my clothes because it would be heavy but you could have it on a bag you could have it on a bag or a jacket you could have it on a jacket it's like a centerpiece do you know what I mean I know what I mean 
But that's what I like about these big pins anyway. The bag here, oh, it's the t-shirt. It's black, I like black, it's slimming and I can hide away from people. Esma. Wow, you flew across that room. You stay there. Okay, I like black and I'm not even joking. It is a color that goes with everything. It's just a very, it hides lumps and bumps, which I have many of. Oh, it says blacks flying motorbikes. Oh my days. I like that. Is there anything on the back? No, it's plain on the back. Black, it is black. Back, that is so nice. I love their t-shirts. I say this in every video. The quality on the t-shirts is lovely. They're soft. They're for a t-shirt quite warm not too warm but they're very good quality i do love the wizard in trunks t-shirts but i love the idea behind this one absolutely love this blacks established 1997 flying motorbikes and the picture is lovely i really like that oh my days i just had a really bad feeling that i wasn't even recording then right we've got a little black box here is it a key It's not a key, but oh my days, this has really excited me. This has made me smile. Hang on, let me get it out of the box. Everything is so well packaged and presented as well. Like, it's not just thrown in a box. Before I show you the item, you might guess what it was, what it is. But it comes so nicely presented. Oh my days. So we've got the wand handle of a very well-known... But it is a letter opener. I really like that. It's even got the green gems in its eyes. I'm obsessed. This has wowed me. I really like this. Now, it is a resin metal or something. There you go. It's not plastic. It is not plastic. It is a very well made. That is gorgeous. That is really nice. Another thing I love about Wizarding Trunks, sometimes they like blow my mind with the ideas because they do think quite a lot of the time outside of the box, um, which I really love about them. They do very well. I'm very proud of you, Wizarding Trunk. I really, really am. I really am. I feel like your mum. I'm going to send you a trophy. Right. All right. Okay. So we have a picture. Is this something to do with the tea set we've been getting? Is it? We'll know more, Suze, if we unbox it, won't we? Let's unbox the box that was inside the mystery box. <gasps> It is, okay, bear with. It's very well packaged again, which is awesome. Now, I'm wondering whether the other one, right, let me explain. Oh, this is so cute. So, oh, sugar pot. This is the sugar pot. This is the sugar pot. I was just gonna say, right, cause we've got the, it's it's uh, what you put your milk in, your creamer. Do they call it a creamer? I don't know, I keep saying that. I don't know if it's called that. But it's what you put your milk in, right? It's exactly the same as this, but it has a spout and a, and a, and a handle. It's so cool. I absolutely love it. And they're doing this tea set. So in, I'm not even going to tell you. If you haven't seen their potion box, go back a couple of videos, literally two videos. There is another Wizarding Trunk unboxing and it's the Master of Potions box. And we get something in there towards the tea set as well. I am loving the idea of this tea set. I love this tea set so far it's absolutely gorgeous i really really am enjoying it and it is exciting me seeing this come together and i am going to have this displayed in my kitchen 1000 and 5000 and million percent so this i am guessing is a sugar pot it is pot including the lid that is so nice it is so just oh my days it excites me i love this and i can't wait to take pictures of it when it's completed oh my days i really really like it it screams harry potter done it i mean come on anywho right put that down before you break it right we have wow right we had a box like this inside wednesday's box hold on so i'm gonna pull this out now because this is exciting me hold on okay so we have got the advanced guide to defense magic right defensive magic sorry so the advanced guide to defensive magic on the spine there i don't even know if i'm showing you and then here is the back let me read it to you i love the moon phases they're so pretty 
So, unlock the secrets of magical self-defense with the advanced guide to defensive magic tailored for wizards and witches seeking to fortify their skills. This book unveils the tri... tri Trasses, tris, oh my days, Trasses, Trasses, don't hurt yourself, Susie, of defensive spells, advanced shield charms, and potent hexes. As you traverse the pages, delve into the world of magical beasts, gaining essential knowledge on how to confront the menacing redcaps, navigate encounters with elusive werewolves, and face the spine chilling basilisk with its clear instructions and descriptions. This guide transforms the pursuit of magical defense into an immersive journey ensuring practitioners of all levels are prepared to navigate the challenges posed by both spells and dangerous creatures whether you're a novice on your magical path or a seasoned sorcerer <laughs> a seasoned sorcerer seeking to expand your defensive repertoire the Advanced Guide to Defensive Magic is your gateway to mastering the magical art of protection. So if you see me like this, it's because it's silver foiling and I've got this light glaring and then the room's too dark, so I'm like trying to read like this. Okay, so let's open it up because it's not actually a book. It is a box. And this one's a puzzle. I had a guess that the other one was a puzzle and it wasn't. So, oh my days, yes. So, ha! <laughs> So in there, the Advanced Guide to Defensive Magic, the Advanced Guide to Defensive Magic 1st Edition, copyright 2023, Wizardry Workshop, the Wizard in Trunk, printed and bound by Pentacle Press. I really like saying that. Pentacle Press! But uh, yeah, even inside the box is lovely. So this is the puzzle. We all know what that is, what scene that is, don't we? Half-Blood Prince... Print, yeah, half of print springs to mind. So that is the puzzle. Does it say how many pieces it is? There's quite a lot of pieces though. I am doing that puzzle and I'm rather excited to do it. Can't do it tonight though, I'm busy tonight. I will do it on my, I'll do it this weekend because I love, I love a good puzzle. Does anyone else? I think a lot of people think that people are boring that love doing puzzles. They're fun, all right? It's a fun activity. Also stressful sometimes. Right, we have got two boxes here and we do have, hold on. We're just gonna put those boxes there. We'll open them in a second. So that is the cheat sheet. We'll put that to one side. So we have got join, still recruiting the order. That is so nice. And on the back it says join the, join the fight against the dark. Oh, I really like that. Join the fight against the dark. I do like that. That is gorgeous. I love a piece of art, me. I'm a sucker for it. Absolute sucker. Oh. All right, I'll have a look at that in a minute. That's really cool. So we've got a magical creatures page. So a, 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 a naga. Naga, is that how you say it? We've got a piece on the naga. And we've got a piece on Nubira. The Nubira is a wraith-like ethereal black cat towering over its mundane feline counterparts. Ooh. It looks really fierce. I like it. I love these pages. I do have them in a folder and I love going through them. I love any th paper things, love them. Right, this has really caught my eye. So the vile incantum, poisons and cursed curiosities, nightshade alley, moorlands, londonderry, northern Ireland. This is really cool. Haunted portrait. So it's a mag it's like a magazine. Ah, it's like a magazine. Oh my God, it's a magazine for dark objects. Okay, so we've got a haunted portrait price on request but uh, her gaze may hold the secret to the veil between life and death let her look into your soul can you see the secret yet i'll have a good stare off with her later the portrait's eyes which follow observers induce f observers induce vivid often disturbing dreams you are creepy love you need some sleep you do need some sleep so we've got a cursed doll. This is like right down my alley, this. Cursed doll, the uh, the eerily lifelike doll from the late 19th century brings misfortunes to its owners. Priced on request. So it's priced on request with everything. We've got a lamp, an ancient lamp inhabited by a powerful Dijin. Dijin, is that how you say it? Wishes come with a high price. Mm. A necklace, which uh, probably is cursed. A crystal ball. Oh, I love this. Oh, we've got some artifacts here. Hand of glory. Oh, my days. 
Ooh, Tome of Necromancy, bound in an unknown hide and filled with arcane rituals for controlling the dead. Oh my days, this is dark stuff right down my alley. I am a Ravenclaw, honestly. I know, I'm not a Death Eater. Are you sure? Cloak of Shadows. Oh, I like that. Blends its wearer into shadows, granting near invisibility, cold to the touch. Uh, Serpent's Chalice. I'm just making sure I'm showing you guys as well. Drinking from the chalice grants visions of other worlds, but at the cost of one's vitality. And then a crystal skull. Oh, I quite like this. An ancient relic of unknown origin induces telepathy and vivid premonitions. Oh, I'd like that. Wizarding trunk. How much? On request price, you say. Do I haggle you? Right, we've got two boxes and then we're going to move over to the cheat sheet for this box, which... Even without opening them two boxes, I am fully satisfied with this box and I haven't even finished it. Really enjoying this box, it's really cool. That magazine is amazing. Again, I love anything paper-like. So this is a plain box. What is in the plain box? We have a potion. Oh, Dreamless Slayer. Slayer, is that how you say it? Dreamless Slayer. Look at that For the leaf. love of Merlin, Susie, it says dreamless sleep. Oh, that's sleep. really nice. And the wax seal on top. Well, what's that? Pure blood apothecary, wax seal there. I do love the colour of this. And then we've got some twine. What the wax seal's coming over. Let's give that a shake. Oh, no! wow. That is so nice. That is. Look at it! <gasps> Okay, I really like that. One more. Oh, look at it go, look at it go, look at it go, look at it go. That is magical. That is just pure magic in a bottle. Right, we've got another plain box. The mystery continues. And it continues even more because inside it has foam. I can't get in the box. You open it that way, Susie. <gasps> what do we have? Mm. Okay, I really like this. Oh my days, it is a mug, but it's not just a mug. It is a cauldron mug with potion overflowing the cauldron and on the handle. That is so nice. HBP on the bottom there. That is so nice. Oh my days, I have a new favorite mug. It's been a while since I've bought myself a mug or received a mug in some way, okay? No, it has no. No, I'm lying. My brother got me a really cool mug for Christmas. It is in a video. I think it's one of my DIY videos. I'm having a couple out of it. I'm sure it is. You will see it though in a video because I'm always drinking tea when I'm doing a DIY. Okay. But this is a new favourite mug of mine. I absolutely love this. This is gorgeous. I mean, I feel a bit silly saying a mug is wowing me. Do you know what I mean? It's a mug, but that is gorgeous. I really, really like that. Let's hold it. Yeah. And it would just fit the right amount of tea. And you know people that like these massive mugs? No, it goes cold too quick. You cannot drink that quick enough. You can't drink it quick enough before that goes cold. You can't. Perfect size mug. Absolutely love it. Stop creaking. My door's creaking and it keeps creeping me out. Stop it! You watch it slam now, I'm like, wow. So this was the good versus evil box. Let's move on to the cheat sheet and then we'll talk about the items and what was my favorite. Okay, so number one, the advanced guide to defensive and magic. Yeah, the puzzle. I, I love a good puzzle and it does look like a good puzzle. It looks like it'll be not a quick puzzle either because it's all very similar in colours with the green. I do like a challenge. Number two, the creature page. I love those creature pages. I love the info, everything. I, like I said, I've got them all together in a folder. I love the creature pages. Then we've got the cauldron mug. That has really made me smile. The owner of this cauldron represents the struggle between good and evil and proof that good will prevail. I said this at the beginning, I told you. Number four, the cave puzzle. What did I, hang on, I've confused myself. Sorry, I should have read it. So the advanced guide to defensive magic, this is the second of our trio of hideaway book boxes. This book is an advanced guide to defensive magic and dangerous creatures. Right, okay, so I get it now. Um, I love that it's coming in a trio as well. Like I said, go watch the potion 
video that I did Wednesday if you want to see the other one because that is gorgeous too. So yeah, so we have the cave puzzle, the puzzle that I was on about. I'm excited to do that and I do think it will be a bit of a challenge which is really cool. And then we've got the copper kettle sugar dish. So I was right. When planning your secret defence meetings, this boar's head sugar dish adorns all the tables. This is the third item in our exclusive set and we have at least two more items planned for our bi-monthly boxes. This set... And what have you called it, sorry? The copper kettle, love that. So the copper kettle tea set, yes. Honestly, this idea, especially for a British person, because British and tea, we all know this. We all know this. Don't know many Brits that don't like a cup of tea. And then we've got the flying motorbike t-shirt. Yes, this magically soft, and it is, is a reminder that within each of us resides both darkness and light, but what really matters is the side we choose to embrace. Yes! Yes, just remember that, some of you. <laughs> Number seven, the draft of dreamless sleep. I always say that wrong. Have I said it right for a change? This medicinal tincture is a potent sleeping draft that is used to induce a deep sleep in those that have been through a great trauma to spare any nightmares that may follow. This is one of the most compassionate remedies for individuals who have experienced distressing events. The potion is carefully concocted to bring about a tranquil and dreamless slumber, providing risk respite from the haunting memories that often accompany trauma when administered minister when administered the potion lulls the drinker into a deep restorative sleep allowing the mind and body to find solace and healing in the absence of disturbing dreams i like the sound of that potion number eight the might pin right a pin that represents a dark time in the magical authority signifying the might of those that possess magic and their rightful place in the world I should have said it because I got it right. Hold on. Oh, I should have said it. Looking at it now, it's so obvious. So I did think of the statue in the Ministry of Magic of putting the muggles in their rightful place. But I was like, I know I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong and I didn't want to say. So I was right. Okay, I'll give myself that. Well done, Susie. Pat on the back. Okay, so we have the recruiting poster. This recruiting poster could be found down in Wizarding Alley during the 1970s to the 1980s to signify that the order was still recruiting. The Vile Incantum catalogue. Yes, this catalogue is filled with dark and cursed objects. It would appear that a dark wizard has made notes throughout the catalogue as if he is looking for rare magical item to use for a dark purpose. I did notice the handwriting. I'm so sorry I didn't point it out. I hope you guys noticed it too. Um, the serpent letter opener. While this letter opener may not help with you your walking, it will quick work. work uh, it it will make quick work of your letters and then 12 the portrait pin this portrait pin will make the perfect addition to your collection and then we have the editor's choice uh my happy tatty is uh, please tell me i'm saying that right my happy tatty but they're on youtube there you go look you can go give her a follow subscribe <laughs> subscribe but yeah um and they always have these advertisements as well which is really cool i do even down to just a cheat sheet they just chef's kiss absolutely love it favorite item in this box oh it's a tough one the portrait pins always make me smile i love the t-shirt it's still an ongoing challenge because i've just remembered what i said at the beginning about they always make me smile. I'm yet to find a box where I'm like, I actually wasn't fussed about this box. So another box that has made me smile. The portrait pins always make me smile. The t-shirt, I love. I love the designs they come out with on the t-shirts. They're so nice. So nice. The tea set that we're coming together nicely is just gorgeous. I can't wait to display that in my kitchen, honestly. Uh, the mug. Oh, the mug. The magazine. Even the puzzle. Because I love a good puzzle. But this... I think, I don't know what I'm going to say is my favourite. I'm not actually going to tell you a favourite. Because, not because I'm keeping it a secret or anything. It's just like, I can't pick a favourite. I want to say this, the letter opener, because it really excited me. But the mug excited me. The tea, the sugar pot excited me. The magazine excited me. I can't pick a favourite. I really can't. And I definitely don't have a least favourite. I never have in these boxes. I never do. I never do because even if it's something that I wasn't as wowed at, I still love it and I would hate to label it as a least favourite. Does that make sense? Like I said, even down to their 
cheat sheet. The details, amazing. They do a fantastic, fantastic job. Wizard and Drunk, I will say this until I'm blueing the blue in the face. I am so proud of you. You do an absolutely amazing job on these boxes. I'm not even joking, like, I think you're awesome. I really, really do. You do an amazing job. You, you're doing great. Keep it up. And thank you for bringing this magic into my life because I love working with you on this. It's just amazing. It really, really is. Honestly, right, I'm not soppy normally, so just stop it. That's as soppy as I'm getting. What did you think to this box? Let me know in the comments. Have you got this box? Have you collected the tea set? Is the Copper Kettle tea set, did I get that name right? Hello? Yes. It's Copper Kettle. Is it exciting you seeing these? I honestly, yes, please. This tea set is amazing. Um, yeah, did you have a, fav a favourite item in the box? That Whether you got the box or just watching me unbox it, let me know what your favourite item. Let the wizard in trunk know what you think. Let them know in the comments what you think to their boxes. I, for one, think they're amazing, but I think we know that by now. But thank you so much for joining me today, guys. You know I love your company. And those of you that are new, thank you for joining me. And I hope you've hit subscribe because why not you've got this you've got through this video you might as well hit subscribe it's free it's a law anyway once you've watched a video even like a second long of one of my videos you have to hit subscribe you have to it's the law <clears throat> but i'm gonna go i need a nice cup of tea i've just had a cup of tea after the first box but i'm ready for another cup of tea brit i'm telling you complete and utter uk <laughs> cup of tea go make me a cup of go put kettle on <laughs> Anyway, I'm going. I love you all, and I'll speak to you in my next video. Bye, Potter Puppets.